Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's show, Embodying Your Higher Self, Tools for Living Consciously. My name is Michelle Chimpaka, and um, it's really great to have you here today. For those of you who are joining us live, welcome. And for those of you who are listening to the recording, it's just as powerful um, listening to the recording as being here in person. The, these channeled readings come from my helping spirits who are very high vibrational, compassionate beings that work with me to be of service in to the world. And so I am just blessed <clears throat> that I am, you know, one of many people here on uh, our planet Earth um, that has been, uh, you know, connected to, I guess, or and been guided to be a channel and uh, to work with these beings. And so today, as um, I reflect on, on so many changes in the world, I, um, I, I'll spend a little bit of time sharing with you an update on what's been happening in my world, and maybe it will resonate with some of you Um but I, I have this sense of, you know, being, you know, being an empath and, and recently being told that I'm an empath for the collective consciousness. Whoa, <laughs> doesn't get any better than that. Uh, I am feeling a lot of energies and uh, I imagine that many of you are as well. And so I find for me what works well is to disconnect from the media and so for those of you who are kind of media addicts and, you know, always on Facebook or Instagram or constantly watching the news and you're feeling like you're on a bit of a roller coaster, the best advice I can give you is to disconnect, really. You know, I'm no longer on Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, a lot of people thought I was crazy, you know, for making that decision, you know, and uh, but I, I think it was the best decision I ever made. And uh, I trust that the people that are meant to reach me for my services, you know, as a, a you know, as an energy healer and intuitive coach, and I also do divination readings, um, and you know, I'm a shamanic, you know, practitioner and and teacher. So I, I know that the right people will find me. And anyway, nine times out of ten, it's really never been from social media. It's always been from word of mouth. And uh, so I trust that the universe will provide. But I want to talk a little bit about manifestation and along that line of what we think is what we create. I'm sure you've heard that uh, quote before. And, you know, maybe you gave attention to it, maybe you didn't, but it's actually really powerful. And I do really believe that our thoughts create a reality and, and it also affects other people's reality. So without revealing, you know, because of confidentiality, I will, I will never reveal any client's actual personal details or name, or even people that are not my clients, but I'm aware of some story, uh, because I, I certainly don't want to breach anybody's privacy. But I do like to share stories of real accounts because it helps to illustrate an important example. So um, the names are changed um, in this story. No real names are used, but it is based on a real situation. <clears throat> so just this morning, I got a message from a friend in um, another country, and uh, he told me that he was worried about his brother, who was also living in another country and who wasn't feeling well and then suddenly didn't didn't respond to the messages that he was sending his brother and reached out to his brother's uh, spouse, wife, and asked whether she could share what was going on, why she didn't hear back from the brother. And the wife promptly disconnected from, from WhatsApp. So, you know, of course, this friend of mine was very concerned, was reaching out to me and uh, and so asked me if I knew of any other energies involved and anything intuitively that I might have been picking up on. So I did start to channel and tune in as I do. 
And I did pick up that while the wife wasn't actively doing any, you know, she wasn't doing any witchcraft or any kind of conscious spell work or anything like that. The, the wife was consciously and unconsciously sending a lot of negative thought forms, which had actually impacted this, uh, this woman's brother, the husband, uh, to the point where his belly swelled up and, and then I guess he discovered he had parasites. But uh, what I did uh, discern and what I did receive from my uh, helping spirits and my higher guidance was that, yeah, her thought forms were actually impacting him. Uh, not that she was the cause of his illness, but, you know, it's kind of like with illness, right? If we have enough pre-existing pre conditions, um, to make that illness um, possible, such as not getting enough rest or not eating properly, not getting enough exercise, then we can get sick. Well, it's the same thing with energy. You know, when somebody is, you know, continuously sending low, low vibrational frequencies to us through their negative thought forms, and if we're not prepared for that, you know, let's say this, this brother didn't uh, get enough rest, or maybe he was just continuously getting bombarded by his wife by these negative thought forms. I don't know the whole story. But I do know that I do know for sure um, that uh, my higher guidance was telling me that those thought forms definitely influenced him in getting sick. And, and so I share this story because more and more I am realizing how few people really are unaware of their unconsciousness, the unconscious part of us that has uh, thought forms that we're sending out. We're unconsciously aware of it. And um, this is a, this is a tricky one. How do you, how do you become aware of your unconscious, right? <laughs> wow. How do we become aware of our unconscious? Well, through meditation, which I do quite a lot of meditation, this is one way that we can tap in to, to the unconscious uh, stream of thoughts uh, that do arise during meditation practice. This is certainly one way to tap into what is going on in the unconscious mind. What am I really, what, what thought forms am I continuously running and the other way, of course, is to do shamanic journeys, which I do a lot of, you know, taking people on shamanic journeys and they go into uh, an altered state of consciousness through um, a, a specific uh, drum beat, dr beating the drum at so many beats per second brings your brain in from the beta awake state into uh, alpha and theta states, which allow you to get into um that place uh, deep within the subconscious or the unconscious mind. So, and it, it is through this, these practices and, you know, tools that we can start to discover what are we running? What are we, you know, what's the loop that's in our mind? What are we thinking about ourselves and other people and how that's creating our reality? So, this is something I'm becoming more and more aware of that we need to actively delete those viruses, you know, like look at your, your mind as a computer program. And, you know, when you run the, you know, antivirus cleaner, <laughs> uh, which could be meditation practice, or perhaps for some people, yoga, qigong, other types of mind, body, spirit practices can also work and you're running the program, whatever program you, you use, yoga, tai chi, qigong, meditation, this is, this is your antivirus program. This is what will clear out these negative thought forms and these negative imprints that are not only limiting you and perhaps causing harm to you, but also causing harm to others. Because, yes, our thoughts do create our reality, but they also affect other people's realities. 
So I really wanted to talk about this today because um, this is to me key or fundamental, fundamental to what's going on in the world and why there is so much chaos and violence and uh, subterfuge and lies and um, so many heinous crimes that are happening to our children. It is because there are people that are functioning from a place of total unconsciousness or even partial unconsciousness. And so this is part of why I'm running this program, you know, embodying your higher, higher self tools to living uh, consciously. It's about sharing these tools with you to help you tap into to your highest potential to something so much greater and to stop living from a place of unconsciousness uh, or a place where you're just functioning from your shadow, uh, your shadow self in an unhealthy way, because there are healthy ways we can honor the shadow self. So with all that in mind, I am now going to just open up my channel and see which helping spirit wants to come through and share even more, um, you know, share their, you know, unbiased wisdom from a place of just truly wanting to serve the highest good of humanity which is, of course, my, you know, my truth and what I truly desire to do. But of course, as a human being, I have my filters, right? We all do from my life experiences. And so as much as I'd like to think that my messages are coming from a pure place, I, I can say with all honesty that, um, you know, probably none of us are completely pure, you know, unless we've become completely self-actualized and enlightened, um, it is very, very unlikely that we can share a completely pure message from this human being, from this human. Um, although I believe, you know, I believe very strongly I'm a spiritual being having um, here on earth, having a human experience. But even so, if I muscle test now, how, how pure is my message? And, uh, is it more than 90%? Is it more than 95, 96? Okay, I'm getting a 96% rate. That's pretty, that's pretty good. But I also know that I'm feeling already beings are working through me and channeling through me for part of this message. So it's not just fully Michelle. So um, I'm just going to fully open up even more. It's just opening up even more and just making it, that's going to bring this purity, this purity, um, this message of purity that's going to come through now, 100% pure. Just elevating my frequency through intention, calling in my helping spirits who would like to come in today and speak through me. What is your channeled message? And I am open and ready for you to come in to come closer. Only my helping spirits, only beings that are compassionate helping spirits and any, any other spirits are not welcome. Just only my compassionate spirits. Mm. This is a new, um, okay, newer spirit from Arcturian. Oh, it's my first time to channel a uh, being, Arcturian being, who is wanting to come through. I welcome you. Thank you. I honor you and welcome you today. What message do you have for all of us today? We would like to thank you, all of you, for
for the work you have done thus far on this planet. We are aware of the trials and tribulations that you are all experiencing. We are sorry for your suffering. We would like to say it will be over very soon, but there is still more to come, more challenges on a global level. But we can say with assurance that this is part of the awakening and you are all elevating you are all ascending in your own way. We ask you to continue to keep up the good work. And by the end of this year, things will be greatly improved. I know you have been waiting for a long time for the madness to end in this world. There is much darkness that is still being cleared out. It does take time. But we want to assure you that there are many of us, not just the Arcturians, but other beings from other dimensions and galaxies. We are working together in unity to help save your planet from those in power who have evil intentions. They have maintained their power for far too long. And now we can say with confidence, they will fall and there will be a new beginning a rebirth of your planet. It is necessary for your planet to undergo this transmutation that is occurring. Yes, there are many lies. It is, we are aware that it is hard for all of you to discern the truth from the lies. And so we would like to instruct you to do this. Only you know the truth. You may tune in to your heart center to discern what is true for you or a lie or you may also tune in to your solar plexus. And these two places in the body are great indicators of truth and lie. Just become aware of what the truth feels like in either of these centers. Make a note of what that means for you and then do the same for what appears to be a lie. Notice the difference, the change in the feeling or the temperature. Notice the thoughts that arise for you as you tune in to whether it is a truth or a lie. And you will know. This is the best way to know. Do not let anyone tell you what is true for you, for what is true for them is different than what is true for you. We do want to recommend that you eat healthy foods. We do not have judgment of what that looks like. For some of you, it will mean that you do require to have meat. For others of you, you may feel best uh, on a vegetarian diet. But we do not make judgment that one is better or worse than the other. It does depend upon the person 
and their body requirements. Trust your knowing. Notice how your body reacts to what you eat or what you don't eat. The body is the parameter of the soul. It will give you lots of information if you pay attention to your body's messages. It has a frequency. Everything is frequency, as you know. And so when you are in the vibration of love, you are at a higher frequency, much higher frequency than in the vibration of fear. So in order to stay healthy, you need to keep your vibration high and avoid anything that will bring your vibration low. Anything could be, maybe you must avoid certain people in your life. Maybe you need to avoid social media. Or maybe you need to avoid spending so much time on your phone. This is a time to take self-responsibility. We are only here to offer our guidance. We are not here to parent you. It is up to you to look to yourself for guidance and know what is true for you and what is not. And we are here to support you as much as we can energetically without interfering in your free will. Everyone has free will and no one is meant to interfere with that free will. And so this is our message for today and we have very much enjoyed coming here and speaking through this, this channel today and we will likely return again in the future. Thank you. Bless you all. Bringers of light, bringers of love, bringers of peace, we honor all of you. Goodbye for now. Oh, wow. Thank you um, for coming today. I don't know this particular Octorian's name. I uh, honestly have not ever channeled the Octorians before. This is a very interesting, different energy signature. Uh, peaceful, very peaceful, but also kind of uh, there's a, a strong uh, sense of rationality. And uh, yeah, very interesting energy. <laughs> Ah, wonderful, wonderful. So beautiful to be able to work with these beings. And I'm really grateful uh, for the gifts that I have and um, to be able to share whatever messages that they bring forward um, in the hopes that these messages uh, from both myself and from my helping spirits and other uh, compassionate beings like the Octorian who just came today, the hope is that these these messages can be of comfort to you and give you a sense of, of greater inner strength um, to, to deal with these challenging times um, and to know that you're not alone, that we're, none of us are alone, where we have so much support from other higher dimensional beings and um, helping spirits and even just having the courage to reach out to your family and friends, the friends that you know are going to support you and not judge you and not blame you because, you know, I think it's been a, it's been a 
challenging year for myself uh, as I evolve and I, I feel like I'm continuously evolving. I think we all are, but I've been working actively on, you know, my own personal growth. It's something I've been very committed to in this last year, year or so. But what I find is as we evolve, um, sometimes the people don't, don't come along with us and they don't, uh, they don't like the the person we are becoming and you know because we're becoming more empowered and even more sovereign perhaps they get scared they get scared of that and um i don't know but i've lost quite a few friends over the year <laughs> and but having said that i've also gained some amazing new friends some conscious beings who have really really lit lit up my life. So I'm feeling very blessed with the people that have come into my life. And I just want to welcome, it looks like some people have come into the studio. Welcome to both of you. I did just do the channeled reading. Um, you just missed it, I think. So please be sure to go back and listen to the recording. Um, I channeled an Octorian um, being from, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, it's a very interesting energy that came through, the Octorian. So I, I invite you to go back and listen to that. But I'd like to open it up. If anybody has any questions about channeling or how I began channeling, or if you'd like to get some tips about how you can channel, please uh, get, on, get on a call. You know, click the phone icon. Get on with me live. Uh, or type your question in the chat box. Please go ahead. I um, would love to hear your questions. How about if I ask you both a question? I'd love to know if either of you have ever channeled. Let me get my other glasses on. I can't see so clearly. Uh, looks like uh, an O and Mohan. Have either of you channeled before? Have you ever um, done that? And if yes, please share. Just put a yes in the box if you've channeled before, if you've done uh, channelings with um, helping spirits or uh, any other uh, higher beings. Put a Y for yes, I've done it, or N for no, I've never channeled. Let me know. Okay. Well, um, I think on a few of my podcasts, or my earlier podcasts, I explained a bit about channeling. So you, you're welcome to go back and listen to those podcasts. Um, channeling is just, you know, we're, we're really just opening up our crown chakra and we're inviting our helping spirits. It's good to focus on one, especially if you're a beginner, focus on one, one is enough, that you would like that helping spirit to come closer. And you just invite them through your intention and focus and uh, opening up the crown chakra, only inviting in that helping spirit and, and nothing else um, and making that declaration very clear. And, um, you know, it's, it's an amazing experience when we really connect um, that closely with our helping spirits. And then eventually they can, you know, come into you uh, if you permit it and they will speak through you. And that's what channeling is basically, you know, so it's, um, it's actually not that hard to learn, but it is, um, you know, like anything, we have to keep practicing it. We have to keep practicing it to get better and better at it. But it's, um, you know, I believe we all have these gifts. I really do. But it's just a lot of people just uh, don't know how to activate them. So, you know, you can, you can do it. You know, you can absolutely do it. And uh, if it's something that you desire, if you really want to learn how to do it, you can do it. But you can also um, find out more about um, my trainings and other services. I will drop my website 
here in the comment box. You can find out what's going on. Uh, I am a spiritual healer and I do um, mentorships as well. I'm currently working with two women from Australia and uh, they're doing a, a shamanic apprenticeship with me. So, um, and I also do one-on-one -on -one mentorships for people that are really seeking to learn things like channeling and move to the next level with their uh, healing abilities and psychic abilities. So I do offer those kind of trainings and mentorships. I love, I love what I do and I feel blessed to be able to do this work and uh, help other people reach their highest potential. So thank you so much, both of you for joining today. It's been uh, a pleasure I really appreciate your support. Please don't forget to follow me and like this episode. Once you've heard the whole episode, please like it. Uh, if you did like it, if you didn't, then I guess you won't. <laughs> but wherever you are in the world, I'm here in Bali. So it's uh, heading towards late afternoon. So wherever you are in the world, um, have a great day. Have a great afternoon or night, wherever you are. And sending you so much love. Thank you for joining. Blessings.